I, I described the thesis for connecting the brain and expanding its capabilities in the cloud in detail in my book, How to Create a Mind. Uh, first of all, describe all the evidence for how I believe the neocortex works. That's the part of our brain where we do our thinking. It's the outer layer of the brain, but it has so many curvatures now, it's actually 80% of, of the brain. And it consists of 300 million modules, and they're organized in a hierarchy. And it's at the bottom of the hierarchy, I can tell that that's a straight line. And at the top of the hierarchy, I can tell that, oh, that was funny. That's ironic. She's pretty. And pe people used to think those modules, which are in the frontal cortex, are more sophisticated. But it's actually the hierarchy beneath them that's more sophisticated. We got additional hierarchy and additional neocortex two million years ago when we got these big foreheads. And we put them at the top of the hierarchy so we were able to do more profound things, like, for example, music and humor. And we, but that was a one-shot deal. It made our skulls bigger, made birth challenging. They couldn't get any bigger. Birth would have been impossible. Uh, we're going to do it again wirelessly by connecting our neocortex to the cloud. And I described that in detail, how the neocortex works, how we could create synthetic neocortex in the cloud. As for connecting, we've already connected devices to our neurons. Uh, Parkinson's patients have uh, implants in the brain that actually replace uh, tissue that's destroyed by that disease. Uh, and those have become more and more sophisticated. The first one just connected to one point. Now it connects to dozens of points. The first one was a very primitive computer, and now it's a more complex computer. It can actually download software wirelessly from outside the patient to the neural implant connected into the brain. That's today. So the idea of connecting to the brain is, is already happening. And so I describe a scenario where we will uh, connect the, the highest level, the high, highest uh, level of the hierarchy of the neocortex to the cloud, and basically add more hierarchy, just like we did two million years ago. And what happened then, the implication was we did more profound things, like music and art and, and language. Uh, no other primate does those things. We got that from additional neocortex and adding to the hierarchy. And we'll basically do that again. And I think we understand conceptually the key pieces of that. So that's a 2030s scenario. But it will continue basically increasing our intelligence. We are much more intelligent today just because of the brain extenders we have, even if they're not directly connected to our brain. Uh, our brain can't directly talk wirelessly to the cloud, but it does actually do it indirectly through these devices. And they, they enable a 14-year-old you know, girl in Africa with her smartphone to access all of human knowledge. She has more intelligent access to information and knowledge than the President of the United States did 20 years ago. Uh, we just take that for granted. When I describe these things, like I did 30 years ago, what would happen in the early 21st century, people thought it was crazy. Now that it's happened, people can't remember when it ever wasn't the case. We very quickly get used to these things. People forget you know, what, what life was like before we depended on these smart mobile devices, but that was only a few years ago.